Today, you'll learn how to do a competitor keyword gap analysis using keywords everywhere. This is a really great initial SEO strategy that you can do to find the valuable keywords that your competitors are ranking for that you are not. So let's get started. So completing a competitor keyword gap analysis is really important when planning out your SEO campaign. Now, the reason is because you want to know what are the keywords your competitors are ranking for and what keywords are driving the most traffic to your competitors. So you know what kind of topics and keywords you need to be writing about, you need to be targeting to better compete with your main competitors. All right, so in order to complete a keyword gap analysis using Keywords Everywhere, you need to have the extension installed on your browser and click on the extension, then click on Competitor Gap Analysis. Now, what we need to do is add our website. So let's just say we are an essential oils company and we want to do a competitor keyword gap analysis for our top four competitors. We want to know what keywords they are ranking for, what's driving the most traffic to their competitors, so we can plan out some blog topics. So let's just add our domain. Now, you will see a list of domains here. Make sure you select the right one. If you don't see your domain, that means Keywords Everywhere doesn't have data around that domain, so you won't be able to select it. All right, so uh, select your domain. Then let's add our competitors. So I'm gonna add our first one. Let's add that there. I'm gonna add the second one. And one thing to note too is that when you select your domain, make sure it's the right one that either starts with www or the non www version because sometimes they might have uh, two listed. And another thing to note is that since we want to build up our blog section, we want to make sure we are looking at data from our competitors blog sections as well. And in some instances, competitors might have a subdomain that has blog dot. So make sure you are selecting the right uh, subdomain. So I'm gonna add this third one, and you'll see the blog dot uh, subdomain right here. And then let's add the last one. And this is a great example of the domain having the www versus the non-www. Uh, so we're gonna select the correct one. Now, once we've selected our competitors, another thing to note is that you can select up to five competitor websites, right? So once we are done, we just click on find keywords for my website. Now, Keywords Everywhere will show me a list of keywords that my competitors are ranking for that I am not. Now, all of these uh, metrics here, all of this data here is only available if you've purchased uh, credits from Keywords Everywhere. Another thing to be aware of is that all of these uh, keywords are the keywords that are ranking between 1 and 30. Uh, keywords Everywhere will not show any keywords that are ranking below 30 in the Google search results pages. Another thing to note is that this data uh, was from three months ago, all right? So this data is from three months ago, and this is something to keep in mind because if a competitor or if you recently published an article maybe one month ago, it might not reflect in this uh, list right here. Now, as I scroll, you can see the traffic per month that the this specific keyword is driving to your competitors pages and then in the in the parentheses right here is the organic position you can see the monthly search volume 
cost per click, so how much people are paying per click for their this respective keyword. The competition, which is from zero to one, one being the most competitive. And then the trend over the past 12 months. And then the trending percentage, so you know if this keyword is trending upwards or downwards. So as I scroll, I always like to look at volume and the competition. So let's see, this one it might be a good one because the competition is only uh, 23. And uh, most of the, a couple of them are ranking, you know, on the second or third page. Volume is pretty good. So how to dilute essential oils might be a good topic for me to write about to better compete with my competitors. Another one that could be a good one could be this one right here. Competition is only 22. Search volume is a little less, but I think it's still uh, pretty good. And the competition is ranking pretty high, so that's something to keep in mind, right? Uh, if my website is on the newer side, it might be harder for me to rank. Um, but if it's been around for a while, if my domain has good authority, has a lot of traffic, this could also be a good keyword for me to target. So how much carrier oil to essential oil? And then let's see, another one could be maybe this one right here, dilution ratio essential oils. Talk about the dilution ratio, All right? So really good insights, good uh, topics that you can pull from this list. Now to better slice and dice and filter, you can copy this data or export it as an Excel, CSV, PDF, or print it out. I'm gonna copy this data and paste it on a blank Excel document. Now this is a really great way to better filter the data and sort the data. So I'm gonna click on filter and let's just say we only want to focus on the uh, most keywords with the most uh, volume, for example. So we're gonna do descending. So these ones are the keywords that have the most search volume and the competition, right, is right over here. And great information to know, okay, what are the most the least competitive keywords with the highest search volume that I can possibly target, right? So it could put be essential oil dilution chart, right? So I can maybe create a chart, uh, create a blog post around it to better compete with my competitors. Another thing to note is that uh, these last 12 columns here are the columns specifically related to the trends over the past 12 months. So you can see the uh, the trends on a monthly basis to see if it's either increasing or decreasing to better give you some idea if this particular keyword is on the upward trend or downward trend to better help you determine which keywords and topics to focus on in the near term. So this is really how you can do a competitor analysis. Another thing to note as well is that if you don't want to take a look at all of these lists of keywords because a lot of them might not be too, too important for you, you can also just select and highlight the ones, right? Star the ones that you may want to just kind of focus on or you can just add all the keywords as well and it'll save it and then you can go back and refer to it later and then export it at your convenience. So this is the way you can do a competitor analysis, uh, keyword gap analysis uh, with keywords everywhere. Hopefully you got some value out of this and we will see you in the next video. All right, let us know if you enjoyed this video by hitting that like button, subscribing, and if you wanna learn more about keywords everywhere, just click any of the videos on the screen. Thanks and we'll see you next time.